Alfred. Alfred, patron of the great clan Battleborn. A name I'm sure you know well. Do you really have to say that every time someone comes up to you? It's annoying. I'll be hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. Well, back in Whiterun again. I need to speak with Alfred. Some important mission for the Thieves Guild. I believe that's him there. Amron. Excuse me, Alfred. Why are you speaking to me? Delvin Mallory sent me. You're here, and not a moment too soon. If anything should happen to Arn, there'll be hell to pay. Calm down. Who is Arn? A close friend of mine. We fought together on the battlefield for many years until old age got the better of us. Now it's up to me to save him one more time. This time, from the Executioner's Block in Solitude. Solitude? Then why am I here in Whiterun? The city guard in Solitude is seeking on for a serious crime. When he fled here, he was arrested for drunken behavior. Can you imagine? Fortunately, his identity isn't known to the authorities in Whiterun, so there's still a chance to save him. All right. Just point me to the prisons. Hold a moment. This is more than a simple prison break. I want to have Arn's name stricken from the record books permanently. I'm setting him up with a new identity. It's the only way to throw the guard permanently off his trail. All right then, so what's the job? The job is twofold. First, steal a letter that was sent from Solitude warning White Run's guard to be on the lookout for Arn. The second is to change Arn's name in the prison registry to his new identity. All right, that sounds easy. If it was easy, I would have hired a local thug instead of a professional. You see, both of these items are kept inside Dragon's Reach. And they don't allow visitors inside the Jarls or the Steward's Chambers. One more thing. If you get caught, I can't afford to be connected to you. Remember that before you do anything stupid. Well, all right. I need to get out of the sunlight, but let me conclude this. Where is the letter being kept? I have eyes within Dragon's Reach. They tell me that all correspondence from other holes are sent to the Jarl's private chambers. I'm acquainted with those chambers. So... All right. Uh, any information on the prison registry? It's a well-known fact that the steward keeps all of the records on White Run's prisoners in a large book. My sources tell me you can find that book in a study in his quarters. Change Arn's entry in the book to anything you want, and they'll be forced to let him go after he serves a few weeks. Okay, well... I'm not sure what argument, but what was it about? Just one more thing the Grey Manes want to blame on others. It's not my fault they turned their backs on the Empire, or their mule of a son raised arms against it. And yet, they want to heap the fault on my family's good name? Ha! <laughs> okay, well, I think that's gonna be it. Watch yourself out there. No. Uh, the poor old vampire beggar, of course. I mean, my biggest challenge right now is the sun. I wonder, could I catch on fire? I'm not exactly alive or dead. Oh no, look, it's bringing it again. 
I see he kept the sword. No, oh, but he's back to drinking. That's too bad. At least I was able to stay off Skooma. I can only imagine what it would be like to be a vampire on Skooma. I have other urges now that I must attend to. You know, it's really too bad. Let me check on something. I've heard that there's a spell that's greater than iron flesh. Come to Dragon's Reach to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors? Would you happen to have it? Spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them. Whatever happened to the day when shopkeepers' inventories changed with the advance of the player's skill? Nothing here. Nothing here that I need. I believe it's called Ebony Flesh. It seems like the only place I'm going to find it is the College of Winterhold. That's too bad. You know, if you've got the aptitude, you should join the Mage's College in Winterhold. Oh. Speak of the devil. I'll be making a visit there soon. It's going to be my big heist. At the College of Winterhold. <laughs> Well, no one's around. Wonder how far I'm going to be able to get. All right, I have two locations. Let's start downstairs. chance. Oh. No, oh, my timing is impeccable. The current steward of Whiterun, let it be known that we are seeking the criminal named Arn for the crime of murder in solitude. If you should locate him, detain him and contact me by courier as soon as possible. Here we are. No more letter.
is just too easy with someone of my abilities. I mean, even before I became a vampire. <laughs> wait for the invisibility to wear off. get to Alfred. Tell it's me. <laughs> well, at least my illusion is holding. Where is Alfred anyway? I desperately need to get inside. Got something to just about everybody in here. Give a whole bunch better questions. Thank you. Alfred? Alfred, patron of the great clan Battleborn. A name I'm sure you know well. Do you really have to say that every time someone comes up to you? It's annoying. I'll be happy to assist you if you'd like to purchase something. Anyhow, everything's been done. Arn should be safe. Arn? Never heard of him. <laughs> I guess that means you're finished. Here's your payment. Tell Delvin that he has my support and all the weight it carries in Whiterun from now you on. Need of hunting I think he'll be quite pleased. I'm sure he will. Oh, you gave me Watch a ring. Out there. Thank you. Oh. Uh. Who can I feed on? I would say you, but you're out in the open. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, being a vampire, again, here I go. But I've heard of other vampires that can feed on people without having to seduce them. It's quite unfortunate. Anyhow, let me get back to Delvin. Delvin? I got another special request, and I specifically what? asked for you. You're making a name for yourself, that's for sure. But more important, you're making a name for the guild. Keep it up. What is this request? I need you to make your way to Solitude and talk to Erica. He's looking to run some kind of a shield job. Now, he's not exactly going to welcome you with open arms, but keep your cool. Do this job right. And we've just made an important friend out there. Okay, well, um... I did want to let you know that I finished that special job in Whiterun. Alfred sent ahead his compliments. Looks like his friend Arn is soon to be released, thanks to his brand new identity. More importantly, he's pledged the full support of the Battleborn clan to the Thieves' Guild. I think you'll find that the guild is beginning to grow 
We've had a merchant move into the space right outside the flagon. It's nice to shake off the cobwebs and get things rolling again. Keep this up, and I can see a bounty headed our way. Oh, okay. Well, and you would have to mention cobwebs. Okay, well, thank you. Um, I guess I'm... There's plenty more work for the likes of you. Headed to solitude, then. Bloodlust again. At least it's dark. It was a long trip. Excuse me. So exciting when new folk come into town. I bet you've had plenty of adventures. Yes, I have. Do you have a moment? It's a beautiful night. Perhaps you'd like to go for a stroll with me. Okay. I need to get back to the palace soon anyway. Uh, excuse me. There, that will be all. Thank you. <laughs> So, from what I can tell, I can't kill anybody by draining their blood, which is disappointing. I mean, where's the fun in being a vampire and drinking the blood if you can't drain them dry? looking for Erica I'm in the wrong place I'm used to him being in here surprising that there was no guard on duty allowing me to drink freely from that young woman's neck <laughs> look she's still under my sway. And that's another thing. It's like I should be able to put multiple people under my control. Instead, I have to wait another day to eat. That's... that's not good. I suppose I could feed on someone who's sleeping, but that's a lot of effort. A wasted effort, I'd say. Melleron, you lazy milk drinker. Uh-oh. Have you finished studying the imports from Black Marsh? Indeed, I have, sir. Elven weapons for their armies, sir. Elven material, but poor workmanship. Like most of what we get from them. Scary thinking of those boots with an army of elven weapons at their command. Let's be thankful they're half a world away, eh? Even a fine weapon is only as good as its wielder, sir. But they should fetch a high price from the Imperial Army. Excuse right, you me. Are, elf. Or even from the rebels, if they've got enough money to make a competitive offer. As always, Lord, your loyalty is a shining example to us all. Excuse me. Can't a man have a bit of privacy? Get out of here! You're, this is the last time I'll say it. Get out. Yeah, whatever. Guards, trespasser. Just in case any guards do show up. Oh, look, it's a whole battalion of them. Hopefully not here for me. Well, that did not go as planned. Oh, here's my... my amazing friend. If 
you don't mind. Can't I accidentally drain her of too much blood? This is not, not how a vampire should, should operate. So I can just drain her indefinitely. Mm, no, no, I'm not pleased with this. Huh. Well, so, Erica is not, uh, open to my visit during the night. I'm gonna have to wait somewhere. Let's see, do I have a key? I think I do. Hello, Jala. Is, um, uh, Atar here? I guess not. I'll just make myself at home. <laughs> ah. Fresh off the boat. The freshest in Skyrim. Good morning. Did Atar even come home last night? What is that man up to, I wonder? No, there's no sign of him. It's open to receiving visitors now. I mean, I might be able to seduce him, but I'm not sure he'll cooperate. Oh, excuse me. Hello, I'm Gizli. Yeah, but yeah. But you can just call me Erica's sister. Everyone does. No, oh, here's the stairs. It looks like he was upstairs. There you are. Are you trying to try to throw the me Imperials out? The Imperials are good for business, and business is good for Skyrim. And what is your place in the court? I'm a Thane. Really? In the future, you may want to gain that information before talking with someone. Risk of looking like an idiot and all that. Oh, your arrogance precedes you, sir. Anyhow, I'm a thane too, although you probably wouldn't know it to look at me. <laughs> Anyhow, Delvin said that you had work for me, and I'll overlook your rudeness. About time you got here. I'm not accustomed to dealing with people who are unreliable. Was that so? That's why I asked Delvin to send me his best. Okay, well, here I am. Huh, that remains to be seen. I suppose Nothing it raises does. my ire more than having an agreement broken. It's bad for business, and it wastes time. Captain Volf of the Dainty Slowed has decided to test my patience on this matter by neglecting to honor a trade agreement we had established. I assume this is where I enter the picture. I need you to help me show him the error of his ways by sneaking on board the Slode and planting some contraband. What sort of contraband? You'll need to get your hands on some Belmora Blue from Sabine Niet down by the docks. She's the first mate on another ship, the Red Wave. Once you get your hands on it, I want you to plant it in Captain Volf's footlocker. I'll take care of the rest. Oh, very well. Consider it done. <laughs> <laughs> 
Captain Volv is ashore right now, and I want the authorities waiting for him when he gets back. Now get going. I don't want to see your face until the job's done. <laughs> I do have some questions. What exactly is Balmora Blue? Not sure. I know that it starts with moon sugar, but all sorts of other ingredients are added to increase its potency. Uh -oh. Used to be a lucrative underworld commodity when Balmora was still standing. Now the stuff is beyond valuable. It's also very illegal. Anyone caught with Balmora Blue looks forward to rotting in jail for a very long time. I see. And you have any information on the Red Wave? There's pirates, and then there's the crew of the Red Wave. They're in a class by themselves. They usually make runs along the coast, shipping all sorts of contraband to and from Morrowind. Rumor has it they can get you anything for the right price. Okay. I must return to the court. They simply can't make do without me. I'm sure they can't. Oh, no. So, I slept, but yet my power hasn't come back yet. You know, I'm, I'm considering researching ways of getting rid of this vampiric curse, as it's... While it has a few advantages, I'm just not as powerful as I would expect to be. It's disappointing, actually. And this is so annoying. I keep coming out here on this balcony. All right, let's find the dock where this, uh, I guess, ship is located. You talk to Ed, brothers. Deja has no words for you. I don't have any words for you either. Oh, uh, let's see. I think it's this way. Another thing, these Thieves Guild quests are... I don't know, they're not very challenging, I'll have to say that, especially for someone with my abilities. But that's alright. I suppose I'm here for a reason. Hello? You reek! A little friendly advice. Take a bath and get some new clothes. I am a beggar, if you haven't noticed. Anyhow, thank you for the hygiene advice. And I am looking for some Balmora Blue. Well then, you're talking to the right person. Am I? And the only one left in Tamriel that can get my hands on it. It's okay. damn near impossible to find anymore. You want to buy it off of me? Oh my god, what? The price is outrageous. I'm sorry you feel my illegal contraband is overpriced. Perhaps you should bring it up at the next Merchant Guild meeting. Look, you want it, I got it. You know the price, so talk to me when you want to cough up the gold. Oh, I haven't checked how much gold I have. Whatever you're about to say, don't bother. I don't want to hear it. Oh, but I think you do. Do you still have the Balmora Blue? I do. Still want to buy it? Mm, I, yes. Good. Here, take this key. The Balmora Blue is locked in a chest under the docks near the Red Wave. Hope you like getting wet. Mm, thanks. So, under there, somewhere. Well, oh, this is gonna be fun.
Oh, I'm still somewhat alive. And I'm sorry. So, this ship, I don't even know where to begin to look. It's not close, I can tell you that. Here's the horse. Hello. Hello there. It's the horse that Chandra got for me with his new stable set up. I'm glad I was able to help him. He was a good man. Alright, so let's see if we can't find... What is it? Is it the red wave? Or I, I'm confused. I'll just... Go wherever. It's too bad if I could have killed that captain, then there would be no more about Belmora Blue. Nobody needs it. It's too dangerous. Too addictive. We need less addictive things in the world. Skooma is bad enough. Power is bad enough. Alcohol is bad enough. We don't need something else. So, with it cloudy and raining, it seemed to be okay out here as a vampire. Such an interesting experience, though. Let's see... This is it. Now, I don't know if I can just walk up here. And plant this Balmora Blue, or if they're going to be hostile. Hello, gentlemen. I see you have your swords drawn. Would you care to fight? This will be good training. Let's Submit and you. Did you really think you would stood a chance against me? Even as a beggar or an illusionist, you never stood a chance, especially now. That I'm a vampire.
Mara watch over you. Time for me to get out of here. No, I really overestimated myself. All right, let's uh do this. So uh, let's prepare. Iron flesh. This way. What was There's that? Someone there. Time to end this little game. Oh my. That's sweet. I'll spend years working for that Nord. Dawn himself. Where do I start? Swipes. Oh well, must have run off. to get lost, friend. Can't hide from me. I wouldn't dream on hiding. Not forever, anyway. Mate. See, now would be a good time to feed on these bodies. Excellent. Here it is, Balmora Blue. For 300 seconds, your stamina is increased by 100 and your stamina regeneration is increased by 100. However, your health and magic are reduced by 50. This sounds like the same sort of effect that Skuma has. But there we go. It's done. Don't have 
have anything else. Hmm, here we go. Skuma is like. I'm gonna resist. I'm gonna resist. I'm strong enough to resist. Erica? The Imperials are good for business, and business is good for Skyrim. I've planted the contraband on the dainty slode. Yes, I know. In fact, by now, Captain Volf should be on his way to the prison. Our contract is complete. Here's a token of my gratitude for your efforts. Oh, convey my compliments to Delvin for me. Tell him I'll be happy to reopen whatever doors he needs in solitude. Thank you. Really? Spell Tom Soothe? That's all you're giving me? I, I knew, must return to the I knew Soothe can't make do without me. back when I first started practicing magic. That's a useless gift. And I'll remember you for that. <laughs> Sabeel. It's so good to see you again. Yes, it is. I think we have uh, something in common that we could uh, discuss in private. Perhaps you could uh, teach me a little bit more about what it is to be us. <laughs> 